In this video, we will understand what is customize and why do we need it. In our GitOps Zero to Hero series, we saw that we create this source of truth Git repository to declare the desired state of our Kubernetes environment. So we declare the desired state using a set of manifest files. So customize and hem charts are, are the configuration management solutions which can help us in configuring the desired state of our Kubernetes environment. Right? So customize is a configuration management. So we use the customize tool to declare the desired state of our Kubernetes environment environment right so now we'll understand like why do we need it since we had an option to define it using uh, normal yaml manifest files what was the need for customize and hem chart solutions so we'll try to understand it practically now so if I go to the, my Visual Studio code, here I have taken a sample um, solution in GenX app which we were using uh, in our GitHub series, right? Uh, here I have these two manifest files. One one has this deployment object, the other is a service. In this deployment object, we have this, we are deploying Nginx application with four replica account, okay? And we have this service which is tied to this deployment object. So we have these two manifest files with these declarations. Now let's say if I want to deploy these uh, manifest files then what I need to do is I need to very consciously deploy them in in the order of their dependencies because let's say if I deploy a service file before deployment then this service file would look for this dependent application and it, it keep on failing right so the problem number one is we need to be very conscious on the order of the deployment okay first I need to uh, apply or you can say deploy uh, the deployment file and the and next I should uh, deploy this service file that is a problem number one the second problem is let's say if I want to let's say imagine this is for my dev and uh, in my dev I have these configurations like four replicas and um, uh, this namespace is this flux CD tutorial and I have this nginx image let's say in staging I want to change some of the configurations then here since these are hard coded uh, hard coded and also we don't have any other option to customize these or you can say override these values right that is the second problem so we cannot change these these values is the second problem third problem is let us say if I want to deploy this these uh, manifest files to if I want to move these to the different environments then I cannot go ahead and uh, deploy them as it is I cannot uh, uh, apply the same configuration to let's say dev uh, staging and uh, production because these hold these manifest files holds values which are related to the dev so we cannot apply them so current solution what 
uh, we can do is we, either we need to just copy these files and create a directory called staging example here I created this directory and we just need to copy it into this folder and uh, change all the configurations uh, required for the staging environment and so on for production this is the third uh, issue so we cannot reuse these files just we need to duplicate them for each environment right so there's a third problem fourth problem is we cannot keep track of all the configurations which are you know configured for different environments now in my dev I have this four replicas and in staging I have five and in production I might be having some different configurations so there is no easy way to keep track of all these right so these were the set of problems when we were using a normal uh, YAML manifest files okay I mean not uh, any this does not uh, you know there is no tooling we are using here there is no particular solution we are just using YAML files and uh, uh, declaring our desired set right here comes the customization so customization is a tool which comes up with a set of features or you can say solution which solves all the problems which we discussed here right so one is order of uh, it takes care of order of deployment so we need not to uh, worry about that and uh, it uh, it can help us in uh, customizing customization right and the other problem which we saw is we need need not to need need not to duplicate our files for each environment right the fourth problem is uh, we do not we we can keep track of all configurations easily so these are the four uh, issues which we can think of uh, that customization can help us in solving uh, right these four issues right so uh, that's it for this video i think uh, we discussed like what is customized it's a configuration management tool and why do we use it so it can it solves these set of problems so in coming videos we'll keep on uh, uh, exploring uh, this solution we'll we'll do uh, hands-on uh, uh, on this uh, tool so thank you for your time uh, see you in next video